Hello friends, welcome to our channel. As you can see, we try to post various kinds of videos in our channel, especially related to Microsoft Azure technologies, Python, Linux, cybersecurity, AWS, DevOps. So if you are interested in learning any of these technologies, I would recommend you to subscribe to uh, this channel so that you can get the notification whenever we post any new videos. Okay, so let's see what we have for today's session. So you guys might have seen somewhere in your website where uh, you need to create a cool avatar like this or anything like male, female, something like this. You might have seen uh, either you are saving this as your WhatsApp uh, profile pic or Facebook profile pic or in a different website you will get these options like you create your own uh, kind of cartoon avatar and save it. So now how these are happening. So these are happening using React web application. But today what we will plan is how to create these kind of avatars and save as PNG or SVG using Python. So for that, let's search for the same name avatars in pip. So for Python installation and we got this page. So we have to install this pip install Python avatars, right? You see th these kind of things you can do using this Python. So let's start with the create cool avatar using Python. And what are all the minimal things that you need to do? Py avatars module for avatar creation as we have seen now. And then we will install it using pip or pip3. And then we will see uh, if it is installed properly or not. And then we will save it as a PNG or SVG. And at the last, we will try to uh, explore this uh, init function inside this module. So let's go and uh, uh, see what are the code that we need to write to get this done. So now I am in this Python avatar package website and here you see how to install it the same way or you can use even this from the repository right but this is easier one and i always recommend this so now wh what are all the features of uh, this python module so it is highly customizable you can design your own clothes hairstyle eyes as you have seen when i was trying in a random way right so, and it, it will be in a pure SVG format that you can convert in PNG as well. So, what are all the uh, avatars that you have to write? So, what is the minimal uh, code that you need to write is import python underscore avatars as PA and you can just type uh, my avatar equal to PA dot avatar and you, let's say you don't pass anything, right? You pass just blank and save it as a uh, PNG file. So we'll see that. And then uh, what we will do is um, we will use any of these uh, custom random avatar or something like this, which is already available, and we'll see how this works. Now, uh, what I want to do is I want to uh, create more things, right? But I just want to understand what are all these values from where I can get these values. Right, what are all the acceptable values? So for that, we will, I mean, see it's code in that module. So let's go and uh, uh, write few code there and see how it works. So now you see, uh, I'm using the same avatar model and I'm going to uh, just get this avatar with a blank parameter, right? I'm not passing anything. And what I'm telling is, render it as a PNG file and same way render it as an SVG file. We need to see if uh, this module is installed properly or not, right? So to see if this module is installed properly or not, we have to type pi pip3 show pi underscore avatars. And remember like there are three A's for this avatars. And you see, this is properly installed name, this version, and all the other details where uh, it is located. What is the location of that avatars page, right? 
So this way you can uh, figure out if it is installed properly. Once it is installed properly, you just save these four lines of code and let's execute it from here. Okay, so what I will type is Python 3 and avatar underscore basic and we'll execute it. So as it's uh, it got executed, you can see that we have uh, this basic underscore avatar dot png which gives the image like this the same way there will be svg as well but the only difference is uh, you can open it in your uh, browser and here you can see it is showing the, uh, the code for that svg and this side it is showing the image and this image is scalable so if you double click on it it will become very big but it will not fade it will still be uh, you know of the same quality. So that is the advantage of uh, using SVG image in your uh, website for all kind of these cool avatars. Now, what we'll do is uh, we will try to write that bigger one, the custom one. So this time what we have copied is the same way their module and all the other formats. And this time I'm just uh, telling that random, I mean, render it as a PNG file. Okay, so what we'll do is we will uh, run this program again. Python 3 and this time it is uh, avatar not basic but custom. And code got executed. So the custom image comes like this where there is no background uh, color, right? The circle color was there in the basic. So I have removed that and added a few things like this Google or this guy is smiling. So this kind of custom image you can create very easily with uh, uh, this iAvatar module. So for more of this kind of uh, cool avatars, how to do all these things, what are all the different settings, you can go to the uh, Pi Avatar Python uh, website and you can learn from there. So you see what you need to do for you know uh, creating this uh, random avatar using this random uh, function and if you want to add something on this t-shirt so what is the option there and if you want uh, to expand the library like you do uh, your own installation like you add new svg file possibly maybe you can add your own uh, maybe head or something and then use it but still there is a question from where I'm getting like uh, what kind of uh, different avatar styles are there? What are the different hair colors are there? What are the different mouth type? What are the different nose type, e eyes type? And even what are the different types available under this uh, uh, PA? I mean, under this Python avatars module. For that, we'll go and we'll see the init function. So let's go and see the code this time. Okay, so first we will try to see where uh, this module is installed, right? So by avatars, there was three A. And it will give you the location of uh, where exactly this pi avatar is installed. So what we will do is we will go there, right? And then we will write this pi avatars. So inside this package, this module is installed. So let's see what is there in that module. You will see like these files are there and all the code is written in this uh, Python script. So what we'll do is we'll go and we will just open this one. And my recommendation is go through this code to understand how basically uh, you can create your own kind of packages, classes, and if you need to define all the your own functions, own modules, how you will do that. So this can be a good example to understand. Now you see here, this init, I mean, whenever you are defining this pi avatar as a uh, your own object, right? So it is calling this class and it is saving all these things. So if you are not passing any of these by default, it is being set already here. Even you don't pass. That's why we were getting 
uh, without even passing any parameters to when while defining this pi avatar class as an object right so that was uh, the way we were defining otherwise we have to pass all these values so when you, you are passing these values so what are the different types you can pass in these values so now we will see what are the different uh, ways we are doing it right? avatar style so you see avatar style is transparent and circle same way skin color there are these kind of skin color like black tanned yellow pale so you can use any of these values for a skin color same way what are the values you can define in hair color so th this is written here so they are getting from at the top and they are right they are saving it as in style so same way background color you are passing the value like this but inside that color you are defining from this color dot red i know it is not a little bit easier uh, to go through these kind of uh, classes and to understand like how they are writing the code and similar way how you can write your own class and packages at least not this is not easy for the beginners but i am just trying to show you the way if you want to understand like what are all the values uh, any any kind of package uses so you have to go to their code and to understand like how they are defining the things how they are calling the things okay so we have installed pi avatars we have seen where it is located and um, uh, we have saved png file and svg file based on the pi avatar uh, python module pages right so we have just copied the code and uh, uh, i have shown you like how it actually worked what it will show you and then we explored this uh, underscore underscore init underscore underscore dot pi file right and what's next let's say like you got all these things and you want to define your own uh, custom thing right so what you can do is uh, you can add few more things like you can do avatar settings as a menu what you were seeing in a website right get avatars.com website you can make a similar thing in a command line way as well like you define these settings and you say like okay what kind of face you want what kind of nose you want what kind of mouth you want and based on that you create the image or you can you have that random avatar option you, you can use that you can use it as a save as a png file now there was png and svg now you can define like save as a jpg file as well so there was one thing which was fixed like it was coming as a 280 by 280 uh, image size whenever you were saving the avatar now you can make your own thing and uh, make sure like you are creating a custom size like someone wants this in a 600 by 600 or someone wants in a 1200 by 1200 so you tell the you give them the option like this is the custom size that you can define and you can save it as a jpg and you will get that high quality of image from there so that's all for today friends i hope uh, you like the video and the concept to create this cool avatar and you will surely try this in your local machine if you face any issues uh, while running any of the python scripts that we have shown in our uh, uh, channel you can contact us you can comment in our comment box also if you want any other uh, videos related to python or any technologies that on which we are working so please feel free to tell us and we will try to create those videos as soon as possible and at the end i will again recommend if you have not subscribed to our channel Please subscribe to our channel to get more such videos.